And now, to demonstrate how you can use HANA Cloud to build intelligent data apps, I welcome Vitaly on stage. Privit, Vitaly. Privit, Jurgen. Building intelligent data application is a team sport with a close collaboration between data scientists, building machine learning models, and application developers productizing these models by embedding them into enterprise applications. In this example, these two are working on an application for a purchasing organization that analyzes hundreds of points of sales in their geographical region of responsibility. Prices may change a few times a day. As a data scientist, do we have any more data scientists here in the room? OK. As a data scientist, I spend most of my time in some interactive development environment. I bet you too. Like Jupyter Labs in SAP Data Intelligence. Python and SQL are primary languages in this case. So thanks to Python machine learning client for SAP HANA, here you can see I'm importing HANA ML. I can process big volumes of multimodal data stored in SAP HANA database right there without replicating them. I do exploratory data analysis. And for me, it generates HANA SQL and executes this in the database on the fly. So only results like visualization or summary tables are returned here to the client. Once I'm happy with these data sets, I'm moving to a machine learning workflow. And in this case, I'm leveraging auditive model, time series forecasting models from SAP HANA predictive analytics library. You can see I did import it already. It is a modern approach to forecast time series data. And when using this massive attribute in the call, multiple points of sales at the same time are calculated, thanks to SAP HANA power, powerful parallel processing. To accelerate a handover from a data scientist to an application developer, the Python ML client allows the generation of a complete set of either SQL or ABAP design time artifacts. So, I did this generation already for an SQL art, uh, set of artifacts. So you can see that the complete set, including MTA YAML and including database sources with CDS, grants, uh, procedures, and uh, roles have been generated. I can preview, uh, and it is indeed the code that can be deployed now. And this is where I'm switching now to a role of the application developer. So putting ahead of the application developer. Any application developers here in the room? OK, quite a few still. Happy to welcome you here. Uh, I put these artifacts already in my CAP project. And I'm using SAP Business Application Studio for that as well. Uh, to save your time, I have built and deployed this project already, so it is running as a backend service, providing APIs to access data and to access as well functions that are execute machine learning operations like prediction or training the model. This can be seen as well from the HDI container of this application deployed. This is how a Fiori application can look like when using this backend. It was built by my friend, a front-end uh, front uh, expert, Nico, who you've met already earlier today. In this application, for any points of sales from a list, a business user can just see historical prices, but as well get an insight into the predicted values just with a click of the button. And these prediction values are coming from SAP HANA Cloud. From here now, you as application developers, and I bet there are more application developers that I saw hands raised, can take it further just making this insight more actionable. So you can add functionality for the application uh, in this application for business users to perform an action 
or you can got an automated job developed that would execute some business process based on this data. You've just seen how to enhance an application with additional insight to benefit from multimodal data processing that Jurgen mentioned earlier and machine learning pushed down to the database engine. It makes this whole approach of developing intelligent data applications powered by SAP HANA Cloud as the single data foundation much more secure and highly efficient. Back to you, Jurgen. Vitaly, thank you so much.